there. I am KJ with Joyful Life with KJ. And I'm really excited. So I, I watch these amazing influencers on Instagram and YouTube tutorials. And I'm like, look at their makeup. That's what I do. I just sit and watch the makeup and, and then I go to try it and I look like A clown. I look like I belong in the carnival. I look anything except like the the young people with the pretty makeup on the Insta. So, I have been following this beautiful lady. Look, I'm old school. It's on paper. Her name is Kate Talbert from Makeup Made Simple, and she has been teaching me how to do my makeup. So. She influenced me all the way to ordering a whole thing of Saint makeup. I'd like to say I'm not easily influenced, but I am. So I ordered this beautiful, look, isn't it pretty? It's pink. It's a light, light pink color. And I'm really excited to show you. So I got all of the things that I could need. Okay, so she... I submitted a picture of my bare skin, just my face, mind you, in the sunlight. And Kate came back to me with KJ's color match list. And she gave me a whole list of her recommendations. The highlight, the brightening highlight, my contour, illuminator, lip, cheek, eyeshadows, setting power, and a bronzer. I didn't have to buy any of them or all of them, but I bought all of them because... I want to look like Kate because she's pretty. So this is what my palette looks like. Okay, so this, I put these in the order that they're listed. So if ever I got to the point where I couldn't figure out which one was which, well, I mean, I could just lift it out of the container and look, but I thought it would be less complicated to print it out and then have to keep track of a piece of paper. So this is the contour and the other ones are other things. So first of all, these little things are magnetic and they come at you buy the palette. You can pick what you want for palette. They have single level palettes or they have like this one, which has multiples, but I have lots of empty space so I can buy more makeup because if I like it, I'll buy more than I need because that's what I do. Okay, so they come in these little tins. Okay, first of all, this is what drew me to Saint. Look at these little tins. First of all, anybody else grow up in the 80s and early 90s and have lip gloss that came in little tins? I let a screech out of me when I saw how these were packaged. I'm like, what? I have to have these. Okay. And I think it's like... It's cream, except for the stuff that's not cream. I told you I'm a professional with my videos, so this is gonna be top-notch YouTubing right here. You're welcome. So Kate, when you order her beautiful Saint makeup, she sends you all the colors based on your skin that she thinks you're gonna need. And then you get this video and you can watch it. You can't hear it because it's in my earbud. And she just told me there's nothing to be scared of. So I'm gonna follow along this video and do my makeup. And when I'm done, I'm gonna look 18 and just like Kate. She's not 18, but she looks it. She's so pretty and young. And I'm gonna look just like her when it's all done. All right, let's try this. Take your contour, and she's putting it on her ring finger. I'm sure there's some magic behind that. Whoa, that looks like that comes off quicker than you would think. Okay, maybe I don't need that much. Okay, wait, what did you say to do? Find your cheekbone. I feel it.
she says to go to my hairline. Okay. Okay, hold on, slow down! I can't move that fast. One, two, three. Looks good so far. Then I'm gonna do what? Come to my jawline. Where's that? I mean, do I take this into account? Or do I just go for the bone? What does she do? She doesn't have a double chin. Okay. What? What next, girl? If you want to contour your nose, you're going to use the same stuff. Well, yes, I do. Why wouldn't I? Do what? I'm not very good at that. Looks like I stuck my nose in my boss's behind. All right. How does it look? Okay. I need a paper towel. Ooh, my nose looks good. My nose never done look that skinny. The hair out of the way. All right, what next? Main highlight shade. That's this one for me right here. Candle lip. Okay. This is like your traditional foundation. I'm going to apply this wherever I need coverage. Oh my girl. I need the coverage. Like... Don't need a ton, she says. Okay, slow down. You're getting ahead of yourself. She's already moved on to the next thing. She's overestimating my abilities. See, my dots are crooked. Okay. Next, I'm going to go to what? Brightening highlight. That's this one. This light replaces concealer, she said, so. Really? You filming a YouTube video with a bat in the cave? Okay. Lip and cheek. She's saying it's okay if the colors touch because you're going to mix them together anyway. Okay, use a setting spray. I don't have any of that. It's the one thing I didn't buy. I'm just going to do this and pretend that I just sprayed it on. Okay, she recommended the blush bronzer brush and the blend brush. So that's what I got. And they're very pretty. They look like a little Pomeranian. Okay, she's gonna tell me how to do these because honestly, I have a big fat, I don't know how to properly use a brush. This one. Oh, I need my mirror. Okay, hold on, Kate. Hold on. I'm not dragging. She says, I'm pressing the product. Okay, hers is blending a lot faster than mine. It's not blending very well yet. She's blending a lot fast. Man, her hands move fast. Slow down, woman. I got one side blended. We think. Is it blended enough? We think. 
some skin. I can't get a good view of that. I have some skin discoloration down there too. All right. She's already moved on to the next color. I'm still blending. It's really hard for me to not do this. Okay. Do the nose. Oh, she didn't do the eye yet. I wasn't supposed to do that yet. All right. All right. All right. I'm getting this. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. This is going to be a face massage. Like by the end of this, my skin's going to be plump and full of life because I'm giving it a daily massage. Okay. Moving on to up here. She's already done her makeup four times. I'm still blending the first shade. Okay. 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 Do you guys know how long I've wanted to contour? I have wanted get out of there so long to be able to contour and every time I try it I come out looking like I just picked up a job at the carnival okay this dark color here by the way is not foundation that's just my little birthy mark it's my beauty mark isn't it beautiful Yes, KJ, yes it is. See, I want to get rid of the double chin. Maybe if I do this enough, the double chin. Can I paint away a double chin? Is that like a thing? Alright. I feel like I have sufficiently blended my makeup. Okay. Edge has taken place. Now what? She said she likes to then dip back into her main highlight shade. That's candle it. That's the first one. What's she going to do with it? Oh, a little on her brush. And she's going to use it to finish blending. Doing a lot of makeup. I like full coverage. I am a lot of makeup person when I do it. And that's part of the reason why I decided to try Saint is because even though it's full coverage, it's supposed to be a lot lighter and healthier for your skin. And I put on a lot of makeup because I'm vain, okay? Just a little, just a little. I know she, she gonna watch this video. Actually, who am I kidding? She's not gonna watch this video. But if she did, she'd be like, <gasps> slow down, you're putting too much on. Okay, I think... I have sufficiently, I feel like I need a little more, just, just, just a tiny bit. I've still got a couple polka dots on the forehead. Okay, I ain't got no blush left because I like, I brushed it all out. So now I gotta put a little more on because this, this is what I do. I'm gonna put 18 layers of stuff because I'm gonna blend away everything that I need to have on my face and then have to do it all over again. Okay, like, how does it look? really bright because I'm sitting in front of a ring light and it's a little bright. Okay, I took down the brightness factor a little bit. I feel like it's looking pretty good. What did she say to do next? A little more brightening. The blend brush. Brightening highlight. That's Aura. She's gonna sweep it under her eyes. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> She's so much faster than me. I need like an hour and a half tutorial video here, girl. Not five minutes. Now if I could get that skin under my eyes to not look like turkey skin. Excuse me, mature skin. I wonder if I could get rid of that dark spot with this Frenchie. She said it's for discoloration. Well, that discoloration. <gasps> oh my word, I can. Did I cancel out the dark spot enough? I probably didn't want highlighter there. I mean, that's not where it goes. Whatever. Gonna set her under eye area with what? A setting power powder. So that's what this is. I forgot which brush is brush. It's the big one. Okay, she recommends coming back in and layering on a thicker layer at this point. 
of pink, or well, not pink, of cheek color. Uh, she does a little here, bridge of her nose. Okay, I'm not hating. I'm not hating. All right, she says this is, you can, with Saint, you can layer the different, uh, lip colors when i saw the lip color she had chosen i was like mm. but she says you can layer and i could use some gloss i need some of that plumping gloss that makes my lips look luscious i'm not hating that it's a little kind of natural what do you think not bad not bad not bad a bit i'm a little used i'm used to a little more rose on my lips so dish color may take a little getting used to good now she's gonna do eyeshadow well let me just tell you I can figure the rest of this out. Wait, I have bronzer. What am I supposed to do with this? Do I use that for this side? Maybe I'm supposed to wait and let her show me. Maybe I'm supposed to use my finger. Like, where am I supposed to put bronzer? I don't know. Feels like right here. That's probably not right at all. I don't know. Oh, maybe I'll just skip it because I don't know. I'll wait and watch a video on bronzer because I don't know. All right. She's going to do some eyeshadow. Eyeshadow at, what is this stuff? <gasps> this is, oh wait, this is my illuminator. I don't know what to do with that. I don't know what to do with an illuminator. What am I supposed to illuminate? I might have to go look up a video specific to that. Okay. I to do with this oh man I just put the illuminator on like it was my bronzer I don't know where the illuminator was supposed to go but I don't think it was all over my face did I illuminate everything all right this is my bronzer the dark one at the bottom and now I just got it all over my palette Let's try this. Let's go in with the bronzer and do a little sun kissy kiss because, you know, it's February in Maine. We want to look like we have that sun kiss glow. Okay. It doesn't look too bad. It's nice and light feeling. It doesn't feel like I have anything on my face at all. All right. So now I really need to know how to do eyeshadow because you guys... I struggle so much with eye makeup. It's where I really struggle the most. Calm down, camera. Calm yourself. Where I really struggle the most is with eye makeup. I have never... I've always struggled with eye makeup. I see other people's eye makeup and I just really, really, really want to be able to do it and it's just a struggle for me okay so these are the colors I got they are called you complete me coal cocoa and pop I have no idea which one goes where let's start with this lighter one I guess and kind of go all over my eyelid. I see all these different shades going in all these different places and I just, I get very overwhelmed. What shape eye are you? And if you're this shape eye, put it in this direction. If you're that shape eye, do it this way. Use a pencil, draw a line, make a smiley face. I don't, no. So these are some pretty dark colors compared to what I would normally put on my eyes. So I have no idea what to do. I'm guessing 
this darker brown goes on the outer corner I guess I don't know let's put it and see what it looks like I don't know like how high up do I go I just don't know I don't know I don't know it's not look right all right then I've seen people put this shimmery stuff in the middle I feel like that goes right here but you gotta get enough on there to see why do we do this when we put on makeup and by we I mean me it's it's a little I like more eyeshadow than that but maybe it's because I just don't have a clue and then this dark dark color I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that and here's the other thing do you put on eyeliner before or after you put on eyeshadow how do you do it I don't know would somebody like to enlighten me is it before is it after when do you put on eyelashes because I put them at the very end is that right I don't know I put on mascara and then put on eyelashes am I supposed to do that I have no idea and if I choose a YouTube tutorial I get completely overwhelmed and confused because they're all different and I just don't know so I need to go look up more of Kate's eyeshadows because she's really she explains things in a very simple manner and my brain She's simple. How's that look? I don't know. Probably stupid like that. I also have this little stuff from Thrive Instant Brow Fix. Instantly, it's going to fix my brows. Okay. That's asking an awful lot of a product. So this makes it look like I have eyebrows. How does that eyebrow look? Right? Good? No? Probably not. Is it that teenagers know how to do that? It's got to be from all the YouTube tutorials, but they come out of their bedrooms looking like they're ready for the stinking Grammys. All dolled up to perfection and I think how did they learn that at 15 if you could have seen my makeup at 15 it would explain a lot it is this one use your fingertips just to kind of unaggressify it I learned that on joyful life with KJ okay good enough how does my makeup look, my dears? I feel like I need a little extra little just, just a little something right there just to kind of top off that, you know, just a little whatever this stuff is right here in the middle, just to make my nose look a little more special or crooked, whichever. That might be a bit too much. Little illuminator. I feel like this is what this is supposed to. Can you put this shiny stuff on your lips, right? I mean, I can. It's my makeup. I can do whatever I want with it. Nobody can stop me and say, oh, "Don't put that on your lips." That's probably a stupid idea. I feel like I'm not loving the lip color um, or the texture. I feel like it's gonna get. Um, I don't know. I don't think I love the lip color, but I like everything else. Ta-da! There we go. I'll let you know what I think about it more as I wear it over the next few days and see if I actually like it when I get used to it. I'm not hating the contour. I feel I did... I don't know, I can't see that side, but I feel like, I feel like I did okay with the contouring. What do you think? Let me know in the comments if I did this right or if I look. Now if I can just get rid of this. Maybe I got a good Botox lady. Kidding, I'm not doing Botox. Okay, 
Jane needs some Botox up in here. All right, peeps. Thanks for joining me for this singular attempt at Saint Makeup. We will see how it goes going forward with my adorable little palette and all my fun little things. I'll keep you posted on whether I like it or not, and we'll see how long it lasts. Not hating the look. Guess we'll see. Thanks for joining me, guys. Love ya.